Sawin blessings. Happy Halloween. It is a decent night here in Ottawa. This is White Witch Mountain. Not too cold. We have our lights back out. You see that's the little elf in his light. Here is my pumpkin. I just finished carving soul cookies. And you can't see it. And some fizzy water. Light the candle for the ancestors to find their way to my home and to trap all unwanted spirits. I'll leave the soul cookies for them to partake after their journey and the fizzy water to partake as well. If there are any cookies left in the morning, I will be sending them down to the parking pad for the birds to eat. I still have my ancestral candle and my candle with the skulls to do as well, to light as well. But we are doing laundry. Oh, what a night this was supposed to be. Oh. We baked on Saturday. I baked on Saturday. He baked on Sunday. I didn't get the cookies done for the service dog at work. So when he came looking, I said, I'm sorry, I didn't get them done. I'm going to do them tonight. So I stopped at our bulk barn. I got the natural peanut butter. I got the natural flour. And I got brown flaxseed. I meant to bring the recipe with me so I could be sure. But I forgot it this morning. So I get home, I pull out the recipe. I look at Oh, bananas. I needed bananas. And then I looked again at the list. It is ground flaxseed. Now, as my friend, Haunted Soul 117, had suggested, just ground it up. I said, well, I still don't have the bananas. So then she suggested I go and I get them. But my ankle is so sore that there's just no way no way plus we're doing laundry plus I had the pumpkin to carve I was going to give as I do every year each of our neighbors a little goodie bag for Halloween I bring home what's left from work not that that makes it any worse but I'll bring those home if I haven't made enough to divvy out to begin with so I went looking for the bags I thought I had. Turns out, I don't have them. So I must have used them last year. All I had was two little bags left with a handle. And one of them I'm going to give to my friend who just moved to the 15th floor. So unfortunately this year, the neighbors will be wondering, did we move? <laughs> Totally not together this year. Totally not together. It has just been crazy. Then I was thinking about Christmas cards. Wow. I remember four years ago, I had them all done by the end of August, beginning of September. Fabulous. This year, no. Mm -hmm. So we have to start on that. Started taking down the decorations at work for Halloween. Already planning for Christmas, the Yuletide. And where things are going to be going. Got a box of Christmas recipes from Costco. Some of them, a couple of them I already have, but a few I don't. 
So I may be making up some new cookies for them. Let me put this guy up here. There's Gizzy. And there's Pearl. So it's been a bit of a crazy evening. So there we are. My pumpkin to light their way. The fruit in their drink. I will likely be playing some music that I know that they would like. I can't on YouTube, of course, but I will put on some music that they like, some big band, some Scottish music, and of course my other altars are in the apartment, and I look at them every day. I talk to them, maybe not verbally like this. But I will talk to them Tele telepathic in my head. I will talk to them. Watching program about Halloween right now in between everything else. So I hope all of you have a very pleasant evening and that you're having good weather where you are. As I said, it's not that cold. I'm standing out here and I don't really feel a need to have a sweater on. Not that I would have be wearing a tank top, but a regular t-shirt is fine. Only seen, I think, one kid go down the street here for trick-or-treating. I remember back in my day at home, we would, there would just be droves of us. The same when my son was young. He would go, we'd get some of the altar servers, the younger ones, and my ex-husband would drive them in the van and we'd let them out. They'd go about and get their candy. But now, uh, maybe it's just the neighborhood. There aren't enough young children. Or enough children, period, in the area. Or maybe they're further back. Don't know. But anyways, have a blessed evening. And until the next time, ciao for now.